Hey guys, Thunder E here, and uh, with me in my hands is the brand new Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV. And as you can see, it's got a 21 by 9 aspect ratio display. Yes, you can play your games that way. And we're going to be talking about gaming on this device. So if you're joining us for the first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we like to play games on our smartphones. So the Xperia 1 Mark IV is the latest in the Sony Xperia line. And yes, this phone focuses a lot on the camera capabilities because it has some really interesting and unique cameras, including of course, a periscopic or zoom lens. Actually, Sony likes to call it a zoom lens because it actually does a pretty good job. Now, we're not gonna talk much about the cameras, we're gonna talk about gaming here in this video, but I will tell you that all cameras do record at 4K 120. So that is actually pretty cool and impressive. But let's talk about the device for what we care about in gaming. Now, it's got a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, 5,000 milliamp battery, which is actually pretty good. And then of course, in terms of your display, this is a 6.5 inch 21 by nine, that wider aspect ratio, you can see it gives you this much slimmer profile, which surprisingly is just feels more comfortable to hold, honestly. I mean, I wouldn't think that way, but it feels more comfortable to hold while you're gaming with this device. Now you do have buttons on the top, you do have your power button, your volume rocker, and of course you have a dedicated camera button. This is where I wish Sony actually used this camera button because it has a two stage camera button which allows you to press halfway through to focus your you know, images and all that kind of stuff. So to me, that would be great for a gaming trigger. Imagine playing Call of Duty. Even if you just map this as your trigger, this would be great. And also even using the volume rocker here to actually go ahead and reload or at least set a function. Now, that brings me to the game enhancer. This is Sony's um, basically option of customizing your gaming experience, improving that gaming experience and doing much more. So you go to the Game Enhancer app, you can go in and you can see the games you have in there. You can look at each of those games and then you can also uh, look at your screenshots and things like that. Now, while you're in your game session itself, you can actually open up the Game Enhancer. Uh, there's either a floating bar or an icon on the side that is floating on screen. So I do have the icon on the side and what it does is allows me to go into some quick settings. I can go in and change the brightness. I can also increase the performance and go to like performance mode instead of balance mode to use more of my, of course, Snapdragon HN1. I can multitask, screenshot, screen recording. That's pretty good, but the things I would like to see here are of course my FPS meter and as well uh, as a way to map some of those already useful buttons that they have in this device. So that's what it is in terms of functionality. Okay, so what about games and gaming on this device? So let's start off with Genshin Impact. <laughs> you thought I was going to say Call of Duty Mobile. Well, Genshin runs on this as you would expect. Genshin is a game that honestly we know very well that is not well optimized. So we get between uh, 38 to 40. Uh, when you play for longer periods of time, about 20 minutes, it drops down to about 36 to 38. That is something that I've been seeing. So again, that's kind of standard with what we're getting with Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 with this. But it does run smooth and also using that 120 hertz display, you can see how smooth and fast this thing actually looks. Now, going over to you know, Call of Duty Mobile, this game runs at 60 frames per second, locked in, really smooth, very nice. And honestly, again, I can't stress that I really liked the fact that, look, this has a much wider screen, so I feel like everything is just more balanced on my display. I can see more of what I'm looking at, and even though the height isn't there, there's just much more wider field of view, especially the game like Call of Duty. Now, PUBG Mobile, we ran it, of course, at the very two settings we usually check at. First, of course, is Smooth Extreme, and that gave us a solid 60 frames per second. The game ran well and uh, functioned pretty good. Gameplay was good, no problem. Then we also went to Ultra HD Ultra and we got the performance we'd expect for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 which is 40 frames per second. So that was actually good. Now we do have another new game here for you which you guys can see. And honestly, it did a fantastic job on that as well. Very smooth, fantastic gameplay. And also I think this was actually just fun. I wanted to throw in a new game for you guys to actually check out. But 
everything's kind of expected. So the one thing you guys want to know is what about temperatures? So while gaming on this device, and I'm actually just going to measure it here on screen, uh, we're able to get about 111 degrees, which is kind of standard, uh, especially for a device that doesn't have any um, clear cut specific cooling that you know Sony has mentioned. Now, there's one way to actually change those temperatures from 111 is the fact that Sony has some pretty unique battery technology. This is, uh, uh, this is something that allows you to actually gain for long periods of time without using the battery. And mind you, that's a 5,000 milliamp battery here. So you can actually gain for long periods of time. So all it is is that once you're charging your device or you have your device plugged in, the, the device does not run off your battery power, but actually off your charging. So it's not overheating. You're not getting those thermal heats from the battery and it does a much better job cooling. And in that state, I had seen temperatures of about between 97 to about 105 uh, depending on the game the Genshin it was close probably closer to 105 so that is something I really like and especially for gamers who like to spend a longer period of time while gaming you're going to experience that there now in terms of audio you've got of course uh, dual speakers uh, and uh, how about you guys just take a listen to some of that audio during gameplay Pretty cool. So in all essence, the um, Sony Xperia 1 Mark IV is a solid gaming device. 4K 120, even though of course this game doesn't actually play at that, but it looks really good, runs smooth. Audio is solid on this device. But here's the kicker. Would you actually pick this for gaming or would you focus more on the camera capabilities? Because this is priced at $1,500. And this is, of course, because Sony is really pushing a lot of those camera capabilities. And yes, gaming is pretty strong. What I would like to see from Sony in the future is more PlayStation integration into this device where I can actually... Uh, have the PlayStation app available. I can also stream more from my uh, PlayStation, more connectivity to that, because again, that is a Sony product. So I would love to see that there, that it makes it more of a, a true Sony product, not just a PlayStation phone, but again, it covers the camera and the gaming aspects together. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know. Or otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.